I don't want to be, I don't want to get up and start being negative, you know, I want to get up and start my day off being positive, you know what I mean, because I almost went left just now, talking about people and who they represent in my life, I don't know who these people are, but I just know that they pops up, like, and when demons pop up in your life, you don't know which, you don't know which one of your friends or your family is a demon, okay, now, when you find out that that person is a demon, God is going to allow you to identify them. Um, like right now, I'm using the word police. I'm using the word police. So I don't know if some of my friends are the police and they're watching me. I don't know. Or they're just demons and they're just flocking around me like freaking wolves in sheep clothing. I'm not quite sure. But anyways, let's get on with our Bible study. Father God, I want to thank you for this opportunity once more for me to be able to walk and talk about the goodness of your love. I want you to continue to guide me in the positive direction of where I'm going. Lord, I know that I made a couple of mistakes along the way. And I know I'm not supposed to be eating things that sweet because I'm diabetic. <laughs> but Lord, candy tastes good. But it's not the things that taste good that's good for us. It's the things that we should not eat that's going to destroy us. Amen. So Lord, I pray that you may forgive me of my many sins because I've committed them. And only you know what they are. Some people might know a few, but I'm not a bad person. You know, when you gave birth to me, you know me by my name before I was even conceived. Not only was you at the receiving end at my mother's coochie, so was the devil. So both of y'all made some type of deal. Don't bark at me. Do not bark at me. Keep it up over there messing around. And uh, at some point, the devil knew that he lost the battle of having me flapping under his wings. So therefore, he tries in many ways to attack me. As I am 41 years old, I'm moving forward with my life. I don't know what you have in store for me. I hope that it's something good, which what could be bad when you go with God? Nothing but the devil. And that, that's it. He's still going to try. He's still going to try. In your precious name. Amen. Okay, so today's Bible study is coming to you from Genesis 9. Genesis 9. God giving control to humans once again. It was in Genesis 9 after the flood. God told us to go be fruitful and multiply. And then we was given control again. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you. So I don't understand um, what it is to be a vegetarian. I don't get it. You know, it's like every move, every moving thing, everything that moves is a, I definitely know it's not a car, you know, but everything like birds, everything. Animals. We're supposed to eat animals. It's like back then it was no, you're not supposed to kill the animal. Now it's okay to eat the animal. Okay, I get it. Because what else we gonna eat? <laughs> Even as the green herb have I have given you all things. Is the blood there? But flesh will life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall he not eat? So I guess we're not supposed to be carnivores. We're not supposed to be carnivores. Um, I don't know if when, when an animal die, they still have blood in them. But is their blood active? I don't know what that means. You see? Okay. So if you kill someone, you ought to be killed as well. It's in the Bible. It's in Genesis 6. It's not an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. You know, I don't know. I don't know how this Bible study is going to turn out because I'm confused. But it's going to turn out pretty well. It's not these parts that God is going to have me revealing to the world. It's the maybe in Revelation, you know. Uh, I'm not sure. And God said, this is the 
token of the covenant which I make between me and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow. My, listen to this. He set his bow as a covenant. Okay. It was supposed to be a covenant. Okay. Between me and the earth. And then in the 21st verse. Uh, Noah decided that he wanted to get drunk. You know, he, he's an old man. Like, what else can he do other than you done gave birth to the entire nation. You did what you was told to do by God. You build the ark. You saved a lot of people. You started the regeneration process and everything. What else is there for you to do but to celebrate? So his son, he was mad at Canaan because Canaan and the other son came in and saw him naked. And I don't know what Canaan did to him, but Canaan did something. And it pissed him off, and he cursed Canaan. He's like, cursed is he? Just like how when uh, God had cursed uh, the devil, uh, Noah had cursed Canaan. But um, I don't understand it. And then Noah died, okay, at 950 years old. Uh, I know in real life nobody lives for that long, but maybe he's talking about in generational term because remember he says, um, perpetual generations for perpetual generations. So he's talking about the lineage of your family. Okay. So nobody cannot live for 950 years in real life. Like seriously, but I'm, I'm believing it, it mean throughout your generation, like, you know, so that's my Bible study for today. Um, I'm taking my walk and I was told not to mix Bible study with my personal problems. So that's when I'm going to get off of here. All right. So goodbye.